tragic day at the beach moments after a lifeguard in a car accidentally runs over someone relaxing on the beach. Hello, I'm Keith Lane. And I'm Elizabeth Alvarez in for Tracy. Luckily, some good Samaritans ran to the victim to help. This all went down near South Atlantic Avenue and Dunlawton on the beach in Daytona Beach Shores. First on Fox, Valerie Boy joins us live from Halifax Medical Center. Valerie, how is the woman doing tonight? Well, Liz, right now the woman is actually in critical condition here at Halifax Medical Center. Uh, luckily, two Good Samaritans ran to help her. This is actually the third accident on the beach involving a lifeguard. It was then. Jonathan Valers was enjoying vacation with his wife and kids when he noticed a lifeguard in a patrol truck. I thought it was going to do a U-turn. The other way, there was a lady, she was alone, facing, lying prone on the sand, and just ran over it with a tire and then stopped. Jonathan and his wife quickly ran over to 33-year-old Aaron Joint of Wichita, Kansas. We just uh, turned, she was on her stomach, so we turned her on, the, on, her, on her side, hold her neck, because she was, she, she got run uh, over her head and her shoulders, so she had a, a head trauma, a head fracture, it was bleeding through her ear, so... Was, was bad. Troopers say 21-year-old Thomas Moderi was driving northbound in the travel lanes when he tried to make a U-turn. According to investigators, the woman was in an area where beachgoers are allowed to lay out. What was the beach patrol officer doing all that time? Oh, we just put him away. He was in shock. He couldn't help anyway. He called 911 and he was sh shaking and we, we, don't, we didn't let him do anything. He was too involved in the in the accident, so it was better for him to go to be to be a part. The woman's husband ran to help her. Uh, he was screaming at the patroller, and we just moved him apart and told him to to stay quiet and take care of her, our wife instead. You see, this good Samaritan from Quebec is used to emergencies. I'm a doctor in chiropractic. Are you scared? Uh, just for her, <laughs> that she could she could maybe die or something. But meanwhile, he wonders what the lifeguard was thinking. He should be more aware. I feel sorry for her family. And charges are pending. A county supervisor says the lifeguard is actually a part-time employee who is planning to go into the Navy in a few weeks. They're waiting to see what the charges are before figuring out what to do next. Reporting to you live in Volusia County, Valerie Boy, Fox 35 News. Very sad, Valerie. The county says they'll look at driving protocol for all rescuers on the beach. Officials will also look at maybe changing the kinds of vehicles they're using.